Coming. Coming. Woo! Get that jug? Oh. Yes! How you feeling this morning, Jacoby? Are you ready? Yeah. In typical Valley fashion, we get up way too early to give ourselves plenty of time for a big day on the rock. Driving into the valley always inspires, especially for the first long route of the season. 6.30, colder than anticipated. We have the lightest haul bags of all time with exactly one pound in each. The underemployed boys take on the Fifi Butchers, business casual style. Jake, you're looking awful fancy today. It is a Monday. <laughs> Making some preparations. The first ascent by Dan McDevitt in 1999, and the first free ascent by Lucho Rivera in 2012. Romulan Warbird is a stacked climb with three pitches of 512 and nothing easier than 10D. Unfortunately, the top three pitches were unclimbable due to a wet spring. Yeah, Have fun up there, buddy. Neither of us have climbed 512C clean in Yosemite, so this was a huge challenge, and we wanted to give ourselves plenty of time to face it. Great job. The first pitch is really important, as it is a tricky 12A that we've both fallen on in the past. Yeah! Sick! Woo! Jake sent first go, and it was all up to me to keep the send train rolling. Damn, you bury this one. Oh, Get your way on it. First lead, buddy. The business casual bros put down pitch number one. First goes. Yeah. Two more cards pitches. Oh yeah. We got some really nice facial hair on my part, and some really nice mullet on Jake's. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> mm. -ho -ho! Getting casual. We just dropped two micro cams to the ground, so we're going to be continuing without them. Hoping for the best. Do you have the topo on your phone? Mm, no. I feel like we remember it pretty well. Jake and I both climbing the first pitch clean was huge. However, after a foot slip, we switched out pitches and I took the lead. It was important for us to put this one down quickly, so we kept upward momentum and beat the sun. Okay, that blue one's bomber. The biggest obstacle of the day is getting ourselves past the five opening pitches as early as possible because we knew the sun was coming at 2 p.m. and We needed optimal conditions in order to send the Crux 12C pitch. The time is definitely against us. Ew! Heroic. Jake's hitting up pitch three. 
Trying to avoid the wetness. The four would also be not the worst here. Yeah. Maybe for the left crack, there's like Bomber Pro in the right crack though, too. Moss sponge. One of the bigger, less bomber looking flakes you'll ever see. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Yeah. up to the base of the second 512 pitch. One of the coolest pitches I've ever climbed. We were making good time, but we needed to put this one down because it is long and energy zapping. Jacob moving. Watch me. Watch me. Just sent the 12B pitch. First go. Hell yeah. Only two left. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Whoa. get that jug. Oh. Yes! Battle continues. Now it's time to do some hauling. Huh? But I thought we were free climbing. Why are we hauling? Sometimes when our shit just won't stop bleeding. It's a bit aggressive on that one. Oops. Pulling out all the slop. stops. Stops. Pulling out all the stops, not slops. It's, it's pretty wet. really makes you feel like a good climber, doesn't it? The 
crux pitch. It all comes down to this. I'm going. Come on. Come on. Come on. That felt good. Oh my god. Come over here, that black totem's like on the side of the beaner. They both ripped. I didn't think this gray one was great. I mean, you can see it got oh, chewed. Lord. Well, that's how you don't do it. It was under can, you think? I think so. I just don't trust the piece now. Why is that? Yeah. Each time we fell, we could feel the sun creeping further around the corner and warming up the slopey handholds and invisible feet. <sighs> After each taking crazy whippers on the crux pitch, I knew I just had to go for it. transparency we left a couple pieces in place as I honestly didn't want to take another 20 foot whipper to the anchor While I was elated to send the pitch, I didn't want to get too excited because it's not a proper ascent unless both of us All right, Jake, send take it. on. Still needed Jake to get it on follow and the sun was really starting to come out now. Nice job, dude. Thanks. I think you'll do it right here. I hope so. Come on, man. Come on, foot up, get the next lock. We were planning on climbing the last couple pitches, but when I got to the anchor, it's an active waterfall, no chance. So we're heading down. <sighs> that was crazy. Oh.
<laughs> and the tips are even worse. Oh, man. Probably gonna need you to hold the hall back. I'm like, okay. On the limits of living. <laughs> Good job, dude. I think I put in 15 goes. So I'm dubbing Jake the Romulan Warbird. We are on a nut recovery mission. And sometimes I'm too good at setting nuts. Okay, if I had a nut tool, dude, one second. Wait, you don't have a nut tool on you, You! Oh my gosh, give me it. No way. Yeah. Where? I knew you still had it on you, yeah. I had no idea. I thought I was like deep buried in there. Nice. Don't tell me my business, devil woman. <laughs> this is the part people don't tell you about climbing. They say it's so chill. <laughs> it's such a chill experience until you rip two pieces out on the crux pitch. On the crux pot. Do you want me to slip you oh, through? <laughs> so you can get over there? Here. All right. We're back down on the ground. And what did we find? But our long lost cams, which we decided to abandon after the first pitch. Pretty good shape, but turns out you don't need an extra double zero or point one. Maybe that's why we each took 20 foot whippers out of the crux for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots.